Good morning, people. <sighs> Day number two of festival to her today, and it has been a really, really quiet and really awesome day. Um, I think it's Tuesday. Pretty sure it's Tuesday. We arrived Monday, and everything here was quiet chaos. It was, it was crazy. Apparently, Sunday the day after everybody decided to set up their pavilions and their tents and all of the important big things that need to be set up early uh, all got knocked down. <laughs> the world's biggest wind happened and I went to visit the awesome Dismal Fogs district and Stuart the brewer was sitting there and just like, yep, it's shit. <laughs> all of it happens. Uh, once a few friends get here, that pavilion's going to be fixed up. The Morton Belt pavilion is fine because it's not even here yet. I'm waiting. Waiting for... Oh, man, my brain's just not working. I haven't had caffeine. The water got turned off. Agaricus has punctured a water main <laughs> again. Um, and so the water's been turned off. I'm not sure if it's been turned on. So I don't have hot water to go ahead and make a coffee, let alone drink. Bit dehydrated this morning. We'll be going off and doing a shopping trip soon. But you never know. There are some people arriving. It's still fairly quiet. But there's like legit a fair amount of people arriving early this year. Someone may have drunk too much port last night having a nap now even though it's midday he's allowed a nap <laughs> um, I can't wait to get home coming straight from Veronica's wedding straight to festival I feel like I've gone stress 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 so much to prep for so little time to prep for everything and then suddenly bang we're here and it's like the wind decided to almost take out pavilions but after that everything's been smooth I'm really happy at this point that we switched the caravan we got here and instead of running around I wanted to he had to stop me from running around like a crazy person setting up in the rain so setting up in the rain and running around like crazy people we instead took things out like kegs and empty water containers that can get wet as they want to get put them in the rain to get enough room for us to be on the bed Laid on bed and napped and relaxed and really, really enjoyed ourselves. And then when the sun came out in the afternoon, we got everything set up. Had to go into town to buy more pegs. Today we're going to visit a really awesome uh, Japanese restaurant we saw in Midagong, I think it's called. Um, excited for that. Not entirely sure. I'm. It's not like a sushi restaurant. It's a Japanese restaurant. So I'm like, sweet. Like they advertise that they have sets. I was like, I could really go a set for dinner. I can really go a set. <sighs> and I'm waffling. I'm waffling well. This is da -da, the setup. Uh, everything's really super duper. First aid kits are always in the same place. But this is the first occurrence of our chairs, our thrones. Mine has my high chronic neck thing. The kiss one. It's huge and comfy. The cooking setup is back here. Let's see if this thing will adjust to the light. Cooking setup. We've got spinning wheel. This big wall, which I won't show you behind, is our toilet and shower. We've gone with our personal toilet this year because We've been told the toilets that were closest to the RV section last year are now further away. Like, all the way over there. Somewhere. <laughs> so, we've gone with the easy, only our butts touch it setup. And we were like, you know what, we're pretty freaking good with that. I can handle that. I can handle it as long as it's just my butt. I'm going to run off soon. This is Stuart the Brewer again. See how he's doing. He seems a bit lonely. His wife stayed Sunday night, but he was alone yesterday and last night. <sighs> he seems so bored. He's puttering around. It's very cute. 
Um, I was really hoping this year, like super duper hoping, that I could get a visit from Sahara. Um, I wanted to have a visit from Sahara, I wanted to bring her to festival and organise an outfit for her. I had almost organised an outfit for her when I got notification that my lovely sister moved to Queensland, or was moving to Queensland, and we couldn't for the life of us organise something at Christmas. It's a bit upset about, but hopefully sometime in the future, if the future will allow, if job will allow, if everything else, I can organise some sort of like trip up there or something. Got to eventually. I haven't seen Phoenix in forever. I miss his little face. <laughs> uh, she'll be talking by now, I suppose. Walking around, probably running. And, yeah. Eventually he's going to have to meet his cousins. That'll be fun. Taking him up. <sighs> Taking them up there. Meeting his little cousins. I can't wait to have his little cousins. <laughs> Auntie Sam is looking after D'Artagnan and Pippin. Oh, Pippin is apparently hiding behind the monitor. I have just received photos. Um, hiding behind a monitor and vaguely looking out the little crack in the window at the world. But he's not hiding in his box, um, which he did for like two and a half days straight last time he visited. So I'm pretty happy with that. He's pretty used to his little cousin. Onyx isn't picking on him this time. Last time Onyx was picking on him, <laughs> he's being a shit. And this time, Dart's already slutting it up, like curled up in a basket, getting pats and attention and photos and everything. I suppose I'll take her for her another video tomorrow. Hopefully I can get the phone. This is not my phone. <laughs> I'm using the iPhone right now, which is a backtrack. I would like to continue using the, the Galaxy, but it decided living was not a thing and committed hurry curry off of the desk onto the concrete floor in the butchers. Eh, nothing to be done about it. Um, I'll have a replacement soon. Either I'll fix up the iPhone 5, so at least I've got something that can run Spotify, or, oh my god, all these first world problems. <laughs> so many first world problems. Or I'll upgrade. And I was thinking of going with the Galaxy S5. I don't know. This is the Nexus. This is Nikki's phone. I'll just continue using this while I'm here. Anyway. Kisses. I love you all. Thank you for listening to my first world issues. <laughs> Especially in the caravan. Yay. So easy. I'm happy to be outside the gate. As long as I am dry when I arrive and it is raining. Love you all. Talk to you later.